Hey guys, Jonathan here for the Blue Wizard Project, just coming at you with the next part of my video of Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. Uh, yeah, so last time I got my double jump, just making my way through the castle right now, you can see there it goes, double jumping it up, uh, making my way in this bottom left hand side. Uh, here I am in this bone area that Ian very rightly said that I uh, should have called the bone zone. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't think of that. Um, but yeah, just continuing on in this area. So again, more of these collapsing. I don't know. Is it? I don't even know what that was. Was it a statue? A stone turd? Like. Killing these guys. Now that I can double jump, it's a little bit easier to avoid their uh, little things. Pick up this leather cap. I don't remember if I actually put this on or not. I'm also curious um, if you could see your equipment being put on. Would I put this hat on in a funky, fresh, backwards style um, in defiance of the man being Dracula? I think this is a dead end here, guys. Yeah, I can't break this yet. So I'm going to backtrack. Uh, there it goes. Back to where we started. Giant big skeleton aptly named a big skeleton. <laughs> Video game makers aren't always super creative with their uh, their names, naming conventions. Just trying to see if I could push that, if this did something. These guys are just hanging out in this room. Dracula really loves that painting because he got the same one like seven times. Life max up, and then another set of backtracking. So here we are, back in the bone zone, back where that uh, skull got knocked over last time. And you can see I'm going to go across here and see what's on this end. Uh, it looks like there's an item there that I don't know why I'm passing up. I think I just want to see what's. Oh okay, yeah. So I think I thought I was slightly farther over there, and now I'm going to go past these skeleton spiders. I can't really tell what that thing in the background is. Like a giant lizard head or something? Spider head? What was that? Oh, I think that... Did I pick up an item? Oh, it must have been those ankle guards. I feel like I spend a lot of time in these um, menus here, guys. I apologize for that. I don't know why I didn't kill him. I was behind him. Maybe because I show a sense of honor and decency when I fight skeleton spiders. I also don't know why I'm just letting these guys smack me in the face with knives. Wait, oh, am I gonna go back and kill him? Nope, it's not. Oh, okay, it's a giant, like, head with weird eyes. Again, not quite sure how it got down here, but it's there. This one I'm fighting face to face, so we can throw down like men and equals. Not really much of a threat since he doesn't actually attack. I don't know how you get past that wall. I don't know that I ever figured out how to get past that wall, to be perfectly honest. Like a pile of bones. Another skeleton spider. I 
begs the question what happened to the original spider? What happened to the thing? How'd that giant head thing get in the background get killed? Like, I thought that Dracula's castle gets destroyed every so often. So, like, when it's destroyed and is in, like, a pocket dimension, is that where, like, are those things still there and they're, like, just killing each other? Who made these giant bones? Am I inside a creature? Are these bones just for aesthetic reasons? Like, are they made of, like, plaster and drywall? That Dracula was just like, you know what looks cool? Fucking bones everywhere. And just did it. He also put this face statue for the walls. Okay, backtracked a lot here, guys. Uh, now I'm up here, you can see. And going back to this area to try to see if I can use my jump to get to some areas that I couldn't before. Not that area. But, um... This area, I think I already got the item. And so, not there. So now I'm plotting where to go. I don't actually know why I left that in the video. That was a pretty useless little bit there. Uh, so now I'm at the top of this elevator hall. And, um... I'm gonna go up here and see what's the dealios. So I couldn't reach this before. Grab this heart. And go up this other side. Or down this other side. Ooh, armor. I also like that Dracula's just like, Where can I put this armor? Huh. Could put it in a room made to hold armor. I could go all the way up this tower and drop it on the floor. Hmm. I'll drop it on the floor. Or was Dracula like boning some chick up there and like just didn't get his clothes afterwards. But if that's the case then he would have just only been wearing armor. Which I don't know. Maybe that's how he seduces the ladies. I don't know. Again, I'm not as familiar with the Castlevania lore as Ian is. So uh, Ian, if you know in the comments how Dracula seduces the ladies write it down for us. I like that there's a level 3 white dragon, but I don't ever... and a level 1 white dragon, but I don't ever recall coming across a level 2 white dragon. Okay, here's the castle top floor, which makes no sense because, like, I'm very clearly going up other floors. So it's not the top floor... it's not the top floor if there's more above it, right? Like... I actually believe there's another room at the top of the top floor, which makes it even worse. This part, like, rooms like this, I'm just like, what's the point of this? There's no enemies here. This is all just filler. All just padding the game. It's unnecessary to make it this tall. Okay, save room. Save here. Alright. Uh, I don't remember. I think I might have stopped there to like get a drink or talk to my wife or something. Maybe I died? Maybe I died. Okay, here we go. Here's a dude. Alright, so this guy in Castlevania lore was like Dracula's RA, which is why he's so tall. Because like, he's like way older than everyone else. And he was like. Uh, one of those guys that, like, in the beginning of the semester, Dracula was like, oh, this guy's gonna be cool as shit. But then, like, as the school year went on, he was just kind of, like, passive-aggressively rude to Dracula. Like, oh, you're having friends over again? That's cool. It's just, you know, some people really want to study. And, um, you know, it's cool. It's cool. You're paying money to be here. But, uh, you know, I can't stop you. But... So Dracula just kind of like, was like, yeah, no, it's cool, man, I'll be quiet. But like, as soon as he went down the hall and like jammed his head into the end of the hallway where his room was, Dracula like muttered under his breath, like, what a fucking dickhead. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so that guy pretty thoroughly wrecked me. 
Um, I think this guy actually wrecked me several times, and I'm only showing you like the first time I died at him, and the time that I beat him, maybe? Okay, so I figured out like I can use this move, because everyone knows RAs hate being shot with ice spikes. Um, or maybe that was just me, I went to Christian school, so I don't know if that's like a private Christian school thing. Um, <laughs> that animation cracks me up. It's just like him, like, floating towards you. It just looks real awkward. Also, those walls are very resilient for having, like, a giant head rammed into them and nothing happened. They must not be made of stone like they look like. It must just be, like, drywall or plaster or something. Dracula was cutting some fucking corners in this castle. He probably figures, like, oh, I just get fucking destroyed anyway. Might as well. That also explains why in the earlier games you could break the walls and find chicken inside. Makes sense now, guys. It's all coming together. Alright. So I'm going to get another life up here. Life max up. And a uh, book of wind. So I'm going to have more magic after that. Anyway, guys, that's it. Um, made my way through some of the depths of the castle. Back up to the top. To the top floor of the castle where we encounter Dracula's RA. Um, I died. Uh, I think I died. Like I said, I think I did two or three times with that guy, but you guys didn't need to see that. And uh, got the Book of Wind, so I got some more magic that I'm never going to use because I will always use the ice moves. I actually don't think I ever used the wind move. It could be better. Who fucking knows? That's how I play the game. Suck it, Ian. You don't like it, you play them. Alright, anyway, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Please remember to like and subscribe. Please remember to follow along with the Blue Wizard Project on our Facebook community page. Just look up the Blue Wizard Project. Uh, look into what we're doing there, what events we got going on, and how you can give to help people in Central Ohio. At any rate, this has been Jonathan for the Blue Wizard Project. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.